Hello, everybody. I am so excited to welcome Lynn Goodman. She's one of our special guests, and she's been teaching so many years, and she studied under So Goodman, and she's the partner of So, and sharing is such a beautiful, beautiful method. Shintai and light body activation. Lynn, please tell us. How you started your healing journey? Uh, I got started with shiatsu and with body work through experiencing issues with my own health. In my early 20s, I had severe illness that turned out to be Lyme's disease, but I didn't realize that at the time. And it led me down a path to finding different ways to take care of myself and um, a, a woman that was in a, a reading group I was a part of approached me and said that she knew shiatsu and reflexology. I didn't even know what they were, um, but she offered to help me with that. And so that's the first um, experience I had with touch and using touch to help me improve my health. So how did you use the touch to heal Lyme disease? So many, so many people are suffering from Lyme disease. Yeah, and I had been working as a biologist in, um, I did uh, work studying juvenile fishes in an estuary in New Jersey. And so Lyme disease became very, very common there. But when I first got it, it was not well known. And so it was, confusing trying to figure out what was going on with my body. But when um, I went for some treatments, uh, this woman actually worked a lot on my feet doing reflexology, but then she also was talking about my liver and meridians, and I was immediately interested. And I immediately learned, began to learn, like after the first session, I wanted to learn how to do this. Uh, for myself and for others. So I immediately began studying with her. I didn't go to a, um, a formal school at first. I just wanted to learn and she was generous enough to let me go on treatments with her and learn really more in the form of an apprentice. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And how did you discover international shiatsu though? Uh, within a year, mm -hmm. I, I began looking for a more formal training program, and I just looked for places that had programs and went and uh, sat in on some classes. And when I went to the International School of Shiatsu, I immediately really was resonating with it. And so I decided to join that program. So and that and that's where I first got a degree and started a formal practice. So actually, no, you know, that's not true. I had, I began having a practice just through the reflexology. And then I went and got my shiatsu training. It's, it's uh, I'm a little find, hazy on some of the facts. Did you find so how that did, it was helpful to you? Yeah, how, yeah. Did change your, how your life changed since? Um, almost immediately when I began receiving these treatments, it, it turns out the, the woman that was working with me, you know, she was really quite skilled. And um, she was also quite skilled at inspiring uh, people she touched to take care of themselves through diet and um, more specific exercises. So she really inspired me to make changes in my own life, but also the treatments themselves um, almost immediately had quite an impact on my physical strength. I had been having several years of excruciating back and body pain from the lines and also fatigue and dizziness. And I had encephalitis, I had swelling in my brain. Mm. So um, there were specific physical symptoms that began to improve very rapidly with the treatment. And how did you change your lifestyle? Uh, well, before then, I had very little experience at all with eating well and had no, no real education that mm. the quality of the food I was eating 
could impact my blood quality and the balance of my organs. And so uh, for sure, food was one of the biggest things that I changed immediately. Do you follow macrobiotic diet? I would say that I, not in a traditional way, as far as I don't just eat what might be the more um, traditional macrobiotic foods, but I do include, uh, I would say brown rice and cooked seaweeds and cooked vegetables are the center of our diet, but I also eat um, fish and chicken and meats and I more care about the quality of the food I eat. Um, we, we grow all our own vegetables or most of them and any um, meats or fish that I get, I get locally from farmers that are growing it organically. Or my son forages mushrooms and catches fish. And so we'll get food from him. Actually right now he's tapping some of the sugar maples in our woods. So he's making syrup and I'll use that. So I will eat a variety of foods and I more care about, I care about eating what affects me specifically for what I need at the moment and also the quality of it and how I feel when I'm cooking it. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And tell us about the Shintai. Uh, the Shintai work, mm -hmm. uh, Saul began developing in the early 90s. And it really focuses on using the governing vessel and conception vessel as a form of evaluation and treatment. Mm -hmm. So he considers it shiatsu, mm -hmm. but just with a different focus than what we may consider traditional shiatsu. Yes, I heard you have a special mm -hmm. pillows to align the body to connect heaven and the earth. Yeah, he really uh, developed a, a way of working with evaluating or diagnosing the body and then treating the body through a focus on, huh, I'm trying to think of how to, how to say this in a succinct way, um, but very much working with movement in the system. And that movement is our main evaluation tool for how the energy is moving in the body and especially the more primitive energy of governing vessel, conception vessel. We would consider them the, um, like the primary information system, the more primitive information system of the body that mm -hmm. develops and governs the other 12 meridians. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And tell us about light body activation techniques. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Light body activation is working with the developing human energy system mm. and how to sensitize ourselves to that and then how to work with it in a conscious way. I mean, we all have an energy system and anyone that does shiatsu already is comfortable with that idea and it's, it's the center of your work is energy. So the light body work is focusing on the expanding outer body and other components of the energy system that have a relationship and synthesis with the 12 meridians. Um, like some of the components of the light body would be the Kundalini channels, the chakras, uh, the meridians, the outer body layers, also mm -hmm. sometimes referred to as the aura. So the light body itself, I would say for most of us is in a process of um, it's in a process of development and creation. And when the energy system accelerates and expands to a certain level, that's when I would say it becomes more the light body. Do you know how you came up this name, light body? Uh, that's Saul's name and his uh, identification. And it refers to the fact that when the different energy components of your developing system come into a certain stage of acceleration and synthesis, uh, light or light becomes quite um, a dominant characteristic of the system. 
so exciting. Mm -hmm. So nice. We have a, such a layer of energy field. And yeah. we believe this energy comes into our bodies straight forward from universe to us. We feel mm -hmm. so much better. And then we want mm -hmm. so many people to feel better and they open their heart to do good mm -hmm. thing, good work, mm -hmm. giving energy to others. That's such an important yeah. information. And to um, like, I, I think it's Im important and exciting for each of us to identify and contact more consciously these parts of our system because they offer, it offers so many new opportunities for communication and empowerment. And especially considering what's going on in the world just right now with the situation in Ukraine, um, for sure, anyone interested in healing and body work and shiatsu cares about increasing the quality of um, the quality of life for all beings on this planet. But often we may feel not so empowered of how to do that. And the light body activation puts people in contact with their true nature, with their energy system, with their power and offers a framework on how to start to apply that and interact in the real world using the energy of your own system. I'm not sure how much that makes sense. I, I mean, I could talk yeah, about it and say words about it, but really um, our focus is always on helping people sensitize themselves so that they can feel and know that they are interfacing with their energy system and also learn how to identify different things that are occurring and different things you feel in your own body as you are working with your system in very conscious ways. So that it's not just concepts, but that you really know and learn how to use your own body, really. Yes, in Oriental Eastern medicine, it's a philosophy everything come, comes from within. You are the energy, you are creating the energy, you are outpouring your energy to the world, not coming from out to in. So we feel it's developing, finding your own energy field. Mm -hmm. It's such a great, great thing. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, like you say, it's not, it's not a new I idea, you know? Um, your culture and ancestors um, have so much information and skill and experience working with these things. Uh, I think we're learning how to adapt and connect to it in some new ways that mm -hmm. maybe could be um, palatable or understandable to, to more people. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. definitely. We are so happy to have you, your presentation, your information, and your demonstration to inspire so many others to join us for the healing energy power. We need more healthy mind, a peaceful body and mind, more connected um, body, mind, spirit, people. We definitely... Yeah more centered people not to go either ways to more create mm -hmm. more balance within and the balance in the universe in this planet so mm -hmm. we are so grateful to have your presentation <laughs> thank you Lin. yeah well thanks for your enthusiasm and your capacity to connect so many people it's really incredible a lot of body workers end up in their treatment rooms more alone and uh, maybe don't have the skills or the, the capacity to connect on a wider scale like what you're doing. It's really exciting. Thank you. We need those great healers and body workers more come out, connect with us. Yeah. We need yeah. more conscious mind people. Yes. Mm -hmm. To see the beauty in the world. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lynn. Thank you. Looking Thanks very much, Kimiko.
So Lin, where do you teach now? Your information is so valuable. More people should know about you. Uh, the focus of my teaching lately has been online, actually. Um, I've been creating an online teaching classroom of Saul's work for the last four years. I really wanted to document his last classes and his work. And so we've created a series of online teaching modules where people can learn the Shintai work. Um, as far as in-person classes, he is not going to be teaching the Shintai work anymore. At least that's what he's saying. Uh, so um, I have been, I did the first in-person class last month for the first time in quite a while. And I will be doing more courses at a Shiatsu school that's in Pipersville, Pennsylvania. So I'll be teaching a limited number of the Shintai classes there. Um, and that information is on our website, shintaiinternational.com. Right. Um, I have not been treating privately for the last year because I've been, uh, not because of COVID, actually I'm just focused on uh, documenting and sharing Saul's work in this video format. And when I'm doing that, it's um, challenging for me to mix other things in with it. But the other main project I've been involved with is with the light body activation work, uh, running a, well, not running, um, creating what the, let me begin that again, creating the light body activation podcast where I lead participants through quite a bit of the beginning work in the light body activation. So you could experience directly the concepts and the practice of this work from beginning well into um, working with your system in some pretty unique and creative ways. So that podcast is available wherever podcasts are on Apple, Spotify, Google playlists. So people can find that if they want to find out more about that work. Wonderful. Thank you, Dean. Great. Hi, my name is Lynn Goodman. I was invited by Kumiko to uh, present for the Shiatsu virtual gathering, and we will be doing uh, introduction to light body activation, which is a type of work where you can connect to and work with your energy system. So we'll, we'll speak about that a little bit, and then I'll lead you through a process of the actual work itself. So it's a meditative process where you can connect to and expand and feel your energy system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, my name's Lynn Goodman, and I was invited by Kumiko to be a part of this Shiatsu virtual gathering. And I welcome you to come join me for a morning. I welcome you to come join me where we will talk about light body activation. And you'll learn a little bit more about your energy system, how to connect to it, and then we'll do a meditative process where you can interface and learn how to manage some of the components of your developing body. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do it again it's fine I, okay, I know so that I'm I can ask you we can do it one more time so um let's say so what is your name and what do you do my name is Lynn Goodman I'm a shiatsu practitioner and instructor and uh, what will you present? Your, Kumiko invited you to give a lecture, right? Yes, I will I'll be presenting some of Saul Goodman's light body activation work. And we will talk about what light body activation is and do a meditative process where you'll be able to connect to and begin to work with your developing light body. Great, that sounds great. Uh, Looking forward to seeing you and to your lecture. Great. I really look forward to doing it. We'll have a good time. And um, I, I think an interesting and unique time as you 
learn to feel your body in perhaps a way that you have not before. Wonderful, exciting. Thank you, Ning. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for being patient with me. No problem. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, you have a beautiful smile. So happy Rob. to see you. Yes. Thank well, you. Well, it was nice to meet you both. And yeah, nice. thanks again for your patience. And um, thank you for your so time. And I might send Kamiko, I'll try to send you some, maybe 